Hello everyone, and welcome back to Logcraft, episode 9. And, as you all know, it's spooky season, which means it's time to reveal my new spooky attire. That's right, I'm all festive up for Halloween, got my shirt looking pretty nice, and... When Halloween gets closer, the Logcraft members are planning a little event, a little trick-or-treating-like event, and I'm going to be wearing a different outfit for that one. That's going to be more like a costume. So, be prepared for epic DGC skins. But moving on with the episode, you may not know where I am because I haven't really shown this, but this is what the back of my base looks like. As you can see, we got our super smelter kind of sticking out the end right there. And I was thinking about what I wanted to do with this base because it's kind of like a courtyard area. And I realized that this is where I want to build a lot of farms and stuff. And... I think I should get started with that in this episode because I want my base to be not only looking nice but also very industrial. Is that a skeleton? Yes, that is a skeleton. And I think the first farm I am going to do is going to be a cactus farm because I already have a flower farm and Illinois Jones has a wither rose farm. I'm thinking if I make myself a cactus farm, we have access to every dye and then we can start selling dyes for Jake Bryan Industries. Eventually, I'm thinking we have um, bamboo farms and sugarcane farms as well back here. And the bamboo will uh, go into the furnace system. And I'm thinking eventually I'll make the cactuses go into the furnace system as well. But I want to wait until we have an automated fuel source for that. But enough chit chat. Let's start the farm, and I'm going to do it in the form of a time lapse. Go! And our cactus farm has been started. As you can tell, it's not really finished yet because I honestly don't really know what to do with this looks-wise yet. I mean, I did lay out a bit of concrete, and I think I'm going to stick to a similar uh, block palette with the main base, but I don't really have that much quartz right now which I would be using because I definitely want to use quartz if I'm using that block palette and I thought it would just be better if I waited for a bit to uh, finish the exterior of the farm but it is working right now as you could I, I think I think you saw uh, a cactus going down there and we do have some cactuses at the bottom I am planning on probably making this farm bigger too because at the moment we don't have too many cactuses growing this farm isn't the fastest but it's okay because we don't really need that much so I was thinking maybe if I need some more I'll, I'll make it twice as tall but I might not even need that but next on the agenda for this episode we've got another game to make and I know I just kind of finished that other mini game that I was going to test, but, you know, uh, we're just going to wait for that. Because that's a multiplayer game, probably going to be harder to organize. And I have an idea for a fun game that everyone can play on their own that's also super easy for me to just make and set up. So here we are at the location where I... Put a little prank on Illinois Jones, as you might 
remember. And I'm thinking I'm going to tear this down and make place for the new thing I'm going to make, which is going to be my game. And now it's time for me to tell you how this game is going to work, because I'm sure you guys are all super intrigued. Alright, I'm going to stop mining and just explain for a second. So, basically, it's going to be like a large-scale scavenger hunt across the entire Logcraft map. There's going to be three shulker boxes hidden at a time. One is easy, one is average, and one is difficult to find. And at this location, there's going to be hints for each shulker box so that it's not just completely random. And so people can stop by here, check out what the hints are, and maybe go for a shulker box if they want. And then th once they find the shulker box, they return it to this point where... Then once they find the shulker box, they'll return it back over here where they will get points based on what difficulty the shulker box was. Also, once they bring the shulker box back, I will come back and um, hide the shulker box in a new location and update the hint. I think this is going to be a pretty fun way to uh, bring a lot of people back to the server because right now the server hasn't been very active and I, I'm thinking I might want to ch change that. So let's see what I can do. And we are all cleared out. This left a giant crater in the ground. So now that that's cleared out it's time to start work on the new stuff. And let's see. Do I? I? I just have a mess of shulker boxes. Okay, good. I've got some grass blocks on me, so I can cover this crater up. And then we have a fresh slate to start some new work on. So in here I got a stack of red, yellow, and lime concrete powder. And I think that's how I'm going to uh, symbolize the different rarities or difficulties of um, blocks. Also, I think someone removed all of the stone slabs around this road and it looks super weird now. I'm not sure if I like that, but oh well. Maybe I'll have to replace that, <laughs> but let's just start on this. Okay, this is basically what the whole thing is gonna look like. So we've got kind of like a nether-y feel in the back. And I really like how that looks. We took some basalt from the old building. And in the front, we've got three things, three sort of pedestals. Easy, medium, hard. That's going to be the rarities, or difficulties. Why do I keep saying rarities? I'm not sure. Okay, so how I'm going to do it is I'm going to put the hint on this, uh, this, why am I forgetting? Sea lantern. Hints on all three, and um, at first there's going to be nothing up here, but once someone finishes, or once someone retrieves their shelter box, there's going to be a piece of paper inside, and they're going to have to rename that piece of paper. I'll provide an anvil somewhere around here. They're going to have to rename it to their username, and place the shelter box on top of the sea lantern. And that's going to show me that they finished, and then I'll check for any shulker boxes, and if I see one, I'll give the people a point. And I'm also gonna figure out somewhere to put a little scoreboard, maybe right here. This this seems like a good place. I'll just I'll just make a little pedestal, and all the scores will go on there. So now it's just time to make the finishing touches on this game, and uh. Number one, those are going to be pretty boring, and number two, I don't want to show where I'm hiding the shulker boxes. So, I'll skip to when I'm done. And here it is, fully finished. Loop. I have done hints, as you can see, and I've also done an instruction book. So, I think the game is actually ready to play now. And I'm, I'm honestly pretty surprised because that really wasn't that much work at all. So now, I guess we just wait and see if people play this.
Oh, I'm the only one online. So while we're waiting on some updates for that game, I have headed back to my base, and I think that I'm going to actually start work on the long-awaited mob farm. We're actually not going to start the, f the actual farm part, but I just want to get a giant hole dug out under my base. And I'm assuming it'll probably be on the other side of this portal. If we just dig out some space here. I'm probably just going to make a big space going down here. But what I also need to do is install a beacon right here. Because that's going to make things a lot easier. I just need to make sure that my beacon is centered properly. And how wide is this? Okay, so it's like seven blocks. Oh, wait. I don't think... Uh, actually, if I dig down one block, I'll be able to fit a beacon. Okay, so we need a 9x9 nine nine area, and this is only 7x7. Seven seven, and I'm also not really able to get any further out from here. But if I go one block down, I'll be able to fit it within the boundaries. Oh, another issue. Nether portal. Well, it looks like we're going to have to go another block down. Alright, one block further down, and we should have enough space to start on the beacon now. But now I just got to get up here and get my actual beacon. Oh, I'm also going to need to buy some more iron for my spare beacon, so that I'll actually be able to have a portable beacon. Ooh, putting coarse dirt in my valuables chest as well. That is very nice. And the beacon is done, but now I just need to, uh, oh, I've got some stuff covered all the way up there. Uh, alright, let's take care of this. Wow, wait, I somehow managed to make it up here. I'm just, I'm just so good at, uh, stuff. Uh, you know, but now, now that I think about it, oh, I almost died. Now that I think about it, it's probably easier to, uh, take this on from the top. I don't know why my elytra wasn't activating, but we are now up. And I almost died again. Beacon? Hello? Yes! Uh, let's, let's put some glass here, just so that I don't fall. And now we have a blue beacon. Even better. But what's a beacon without any boosts? Let's put this gold in here. And... Haste 2. So now, we can mine out the area down there super quickly, which is very nice. So now I guess it's time to begin mining, and I'm going to do it in a time lapse, because mining is boring otherwise. Yeah. You're, you guys are lucky. I have to go through all this anyway. It's going to be super boring for me, but you guys just get to see. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm sure you guys are tired of me talking, so time lapse, go! I think I underestimated this project just a little bit. We aren't really that far in. Yeah, I, I went through two whole pickaxes for this, and we're like 
this is probably like a third of what we need. Maybe not even that. So, looks like I'm going to have to do a lot of grinding in between this episode and the next one. But for now, that's going to be it for this episode of LogCraft. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did happen to enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The subscribe part is not as important, but do it anyway. I want it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Please. Please. Just one more. One more hit. Come on. Come on. Where, where did it go? Huh? What? It's hiding. Ah, there it is. Eh. It's coming down. It's coming down. Yeah. Please. Please. Yes. Oh, it didn't even drop ahead. Well, okay. All right. That's all for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Good bye.